Hi, Aries. Let's go ahead and jump into your reading. Thank you, God, for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see what's going on for Aries this week. All right, the King of Cups. So it looks like maybe you're dealing with somebody who doesn't really show you their emotions here. Could be dealing with a Piscean, a Scorpio. It could be anyone. This could be you, Aries. It's like you're being really emotionally balanced. Maybe focused on business matters. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. So you and someone are not seeing eye to eye. You want to know about a relationship. And, and they just want to tell you that they have love for you. The King of Cups can sometimes be, you know, they can be plural with their love. They have love for more than one person. What's going on for Aries? You have the Fool card. It's like maybe somebody doesn't want a, a full-on commitment. They want a relationship with no strings attached. Somebody feels like you are the one. You're, you're fabulous. You're fun. You're fabulous. And maybe you don't even know it. Um... You're striking is what I'm hearing. It's like somebody just feels like this relationship is still new. It could be you, Aries, or somebody feels like the relationship is without um, without a title. It's kind of just like up in the air. It's fun. It's fun and games. Yeah. Someone feels like maybe the Knight of Cups, um, they like the newness of love. They like being in love. They like falling in love. They do a lot to get into love, but to maintain a relationship someone doesn't like the seriousness of maintaining a connection they like the conquering of, of a new person or a new soul making this person fall in love with them being really ladylike or gentleman like yeah the hangman but it seems as if when it comes to having something real this person is not ready to make the sacrifice and, and maybe they just kind of like bow out so this is somebody who takes a step back. And this is also somebody who look, who's looking at something from a different perspective now saying, why well, haven't I had what I really wanted? This could be someone that you're dealing with, Aries, or, or vice versa. This is what your person is saying, or this is what you're saying. The devil card here is like someone is seeing their toxicity or their toxic traits or their non-committal ways or their codependency or their uh, frustrations. Yeah, the king, queen of cups. So there's a lot of love between you and someone. It just seems as if it's hard to get along right now. And maybe the relationship is without form because it started that way. It started with no intentions. And then it and then it, you guys fell in love with one another. So it was like, it's kind of like working backwards. Like, okay, now we're in love. What do we do? It's like, if you guys are separated, somebody does want to come back. They want forgiveness. They want to be in a relationship. They're seeking a one-on-one -on -one connection right now. And they could be spying on you via the tarot or this is what you're doing. But somebody also could be in a relationship or someone's just not sure if it's going to be a committed connection. So this is what I have. Excuse me. This is what I have for you, Aries. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Um, you can also go over to the website and book a reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Aries. Many blessings to you. Take care.